What is up everybody? Hungry Capigon here. Exciting news. I have got my hands on a box of Champion Road, the newest set. This is a SM6B. So this is kind of another one of these like, I guess you'd call it a mini set. I think there's 66 cards plus a whole bunch of secret rares as they always like to put in there. Uh, got that Pokemon logo on there again as well, the English one, which is interesting. Same as Dragon Storm. I just want to take in the uh, the box art on this. The box art is really awesome. That's a really nice picture. If you can see it clearly. Looks really cool, I have to say. Yeah, it's nice. So, this is a day early. Um, the shop near my house, I always just go in there and they just seem to just put, like if you go later in the day, they put the, the stuff up for the next day so they put all the new cards out, so they they just have them on the shelf, you can just grab them, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. So the last few sets I've been managing to get a day early each time, which is really good, I really like that. Obviously, because uh, I can only get it from one specific spot, I gotta pay like full retail. If you go to a proper card shop, this is just from like a department store, if you go to a proper card shop, they will generally have cheaper boxes and like also I can pre-order them as well at places and they'll give you a discount if you pre-order uh, maybe like 10% or something like that but um, because I'm just buying these as you know 30 loose packs essentially they don't yeah let's have another look they don't give any discount or anything which kind of sucks but it means I get it a day early the other bad thing is they don't give me the the promo card they don't have promo cards at this shop uh, which that's nah, kind of annoying, but I will take the box one day early over the promo card because I can always go get that promo card later if I want. So let's have a quick look at this pack artwork because it looks cool. It's the same as the box, but that is a sweet looking pack. I really like the, the Shining Legends. I really liked a couple of the Japanese ones, but this one in particular, very nice. It looks like an old school pack. I like it a lot. All right, well, anyway, um, yeah, let's get into it. I've had a bit of a look at this set because there's like a, a, I don't want to say a bunch of reprints, but there's, the pictures are, are from old sets. So, wait a minute, what am I doing? Wait, yeah, one to the front. I'm getting confused from mystery packs. I'm like not remembering which way to go. So uh, a lot of, a lot or all of these artworks, I'm not sure actually, are all from old cards and they, you can kind of see it already actually. Yeah, they look really cool. They definitely have that old school looking vibe to them. Ooh, a friend ball. What does a friend ball do? You can, you can get a, the same type of Pokemon as what you have in play, I think it says. It's interesting. Ooh, we got the copycat. I like this artwork. The full art of this is really cool. It's uh, It's got the same kind of thing. She's wearing all the different costumes, but that is a sweet looking artwork. I'm gonna keep that one separately. I really like that. It's interesting because I have been getting like some of these like Munda up there mystery cubes and stuff, you know, over the last year or so. And a lot of these older cards, I'm kind of like, oh yeah, I already have that card. That's cool. This Sableye, that is sweet. Yeah, these are nice. I don't want to, um, take too much time going through this because you would have seen I'm sure on the internet and stuff but yeah they look sweet oh they got the, the old school style rare candy that is that is cool I'm gonna just try to stop saying everything's cool so many times I need to read a thesaurus and expand my vocabulary I'm working on it I'm working on it all right what do we got what's this one it's like uh What's it called? Something Explorer Cave, Explorer Mysterious, Underground Explorer or something. Interesting. I like that artwork. <laughs> uh, wow, that Dunsparce looks interesting. That's a uh, different like angle than usual. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> oh, the face. So good. Oh, all right. We got Ariados Hollow, our first hollow. All right. What does it say? Oh man, there's a lot of kanji in there. Uh, I might have to... I really should read up on these sets before I... Before I start opening them, that would be the sensible thing to do. Alright, so... I'll... 
try and speed up a bit after we get a few packs in. It's only a small set. We should get most of the, the cards. Ooh, Pokey Navi. Yeah, we should get most of the cards um, in the set. Oh, that is an awesome artwork. It's just like completely melted lava. But um, obviously the, the secret rares we're only gonna get one. The TV reporter, that's pretty cool. Uh, but we didn't, wait, what am I doing? We didn't uh, hit a GX yet. Now there's, generally you get three or four, if you're lucky, normal GXs in a box. But uh, this set has six, which is a bit different. So I'm interested to see, oh, that is awesome. Looks like a pair. I'm interested to see uh, how many GXs you'll get in this. And I mean, there's also no prisms in this set. So yeah, it should be interesting because they might change it a little bit or not, I don't know. Ooh, all right, we got our first GX. We got a Mr. Mime. This is a very interesting card. I don't know. I feel like it could be really annoying to play against, but not, you know, unbeatable. But it's got this, um, friend barrier it's called pa pal barrier and it says that any damage which is like an even number 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 180 200 220 240 260 doesn't do any damage and then also it says uh what does it say something uh, you can put a certain amount of damage counters uh, i have to check like as many as cards in your hand maybe yeah, that might be it. I'm not sure, but I'll have to double check that. But it's kind of interesting. I can see people using that. And there is a one that's going to come out as like a Pokemon gym promo, which is going to be opposite. So it's going to have like 10, 20, 10, 30, 50, you know, like that. It's kind of interesting, kind of crazy. Yeah, these artworks are really cool. Yeah, I've definitely seen a bunch of these on cards that I've got uh, in the collection. Ooh, energy, is that energy switch? Yeah, it must be. That's an interesting looking artwork. It's got the old uh, early CG kind of style, which mm, is okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. The scoop up, super Pokemon scoop up. I think, is that what that is? I think so. All right, I'm gonna stop separating the cards because that's just taking too long. Ah, oh, these artworks. Sweet, that Onyx is awesome. And we got Tyranitar. Uh, he's pretty good. What does it say? Three energy, you can flip two coins, it does 60 times. And then, oh, it's a really long one. 120, you can flip a coin, and then there's, uh oh, there's too many conditions. I'll have to read that later. Oh, this is the, what's his name? Apricorn Maker, he's very mysterious looking. I like him. It says you can get any two cards out of your deck which have the word ball in them. And this must be energy retrieval, I guess. Ooh, Kangaskhan, look at that little baby punching. Pia! All right, nothing too exciting in that one. Let's speed up a little bit because this is going to drag on forever otherwise. So yeah, I'm interested to see what the hits are like in this box. I'm interested to see, ooh, we got the ho -oh. I'm interested to see how many we're gonna get. Yeah, it should just be all around interesting. Oh, I'm saying I wanna go fast, but the artworks are so good. Scyther, yes, he looks sweet. Oh, they look so cool. All right, and we got the, what is that, Victory Bell? I always forget which one's which. That is pretty interesting looking. He's got some like noxious gas coming out of his mouth. Never a good sign if you have that coming out of your mouth. Don't do that. All right, so I feel like we're kind of seeing doubles already. That's awesome. It's like Play Doh on a drawing. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, we got the Life Herb. There is a secret rare of this. I really want to get the secret rare I want to get is the Rainbow Energy. It looks so good. But I feel like if we get a gold one, it'll be like the life herb or something. And I'll be so sad, even though it will be awesome. But I really want that rainbow energy. I feel like that would definitely be the chase card in this set in terms of like value wise. Oh, we got the bills maintenance. Look at him just like soldering those motherboards or whatever he's doing there. So yeah, 
hopefully we don't, uh, oh, this for alligator. Hopefully we don't get the life herb, even though it'd be nice to get a secret rare, like a, a gold secret rare. I don't want that. I really don't. All right, I gotta speed up this thing forever. Let's go, let's go. I think we've seen most of them. Oh no, we haven't seen this one. Rare ball, flip three coins, and then you can get from the trash, you can get three Pokemon, or like one for each heads, I think that's what it says, I'm not sure. Don't quote me, I have to clarify these things. All right, we got another Lava Snail. Almost halfway through the box and we have only one hit. I wonder if there is one more coming. Let's see. All right, what do we get? Fire chickens. All right, uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a Binette. This is a cool looking card. Where's my sleeve? His name is Ju Jupiter. Ju Jupiter. Interesting name. This one does like a thing. It says you can move one damage counter per turn from yours to your opponent's Pokemon. And then also it's got this attack which does like uh, 10, 30 plus 10 damage for each supporter card you have in your trash. But I think it says you can only use up to 10. So it can do maximum 130, but it's only one energy. It's not too bad. And then Tomb Hunt GX. So you can get three cards from your trash into your hand. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Depends what you're playing against. That could be good. But you got to get 10 supporters into your discard, which is... I mean, you would use that in a game, but it's, it's still a lot though. All right, let's press on because we're not even halfway through yet. We got the friend ball again. Oh, there's our rainbow energy. It looks so cool. This is the old school one. Let's hope that we get a secret rare of that bad boy. That would make me super happy. Yeah, I definitely feel like that's going to be the card to get out of this set. But I mean, who knows? But usually you can kind of be like, yeah, that one's going to be expensive. All right, so we got another hollow. Good old pineapple man, pineapple sombrero man, as I like to call him. All right, we're on to the second half. Didn't see the secret rare yet. Hopefully it will uh, make an appearance. But they, they always do though. I haven't had any times when they haven't shown up. If you're wondering why I'm separating the trainer cards, like all this, the regular Pokemon, like the commons and uncommons are not really, you know, they're kind of just bulk, but the trainers can be worth something depending on, you know, what they are. So I kind of keep them separate just so I can, oh, that's awesome. Just for ease of, you know, looking at them later. That Lunatone, that is really nice looking. The hollow on that, it's kind of hard to make out because it's so dark, but that looks awesome. That is a really cool one. All right, let's press on. Eh. Oh man, I'm taking forever on this set. All right, let's go really fast. Let's go. It's gonna be mostly doubles from now, except for our kits, so I'll just power through. Wait a minute, I don't think we did see that. Switch, it's kind of cool looking. It's funny, like some of these trainers are like, they're only commons or uncommons, but you really don't get that many of them out of a box. You might get like one or two with a lot of them. All right, there's Copycat, we've seen her already. Let's go, let's go, let's go, give us something. We got an uh, uh, Steelix. Mr. Steelix there, looking kind of cool. I don't know, I can't remember what set all these cards are actually from, but I'm sure people will recognize them if they look at this, uh, look at the video. But yeah, some of them are definitely, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that one. All right, cactuses, we're getting cactuses. It's actually kind of a dark looking artwork. Here. Crows or something flying in the background. Pretty sweet. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Got the slacking. Ooh. This is like a really uncomfortable position. My arms are like uh, elevated because I can't rest them because I gotta like hold the cards close to the camera. 
it's kind of uncomfortable after a while. But I will power on. This is the price you have to pay to open Pokemon cards. Gotta be tough. That's a joke, by the way, in case you were wondering. But uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying. I need to get a better, <clears throat> a better way if I'm gonna do any like really long videos. It's gonna kill my arms. But if anyone asks me, you know, my exercise secret, I'll say I got buff from opening Pokemon cards. I don't know if they'll believe me. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting close to the end. We have not seen a lot. I really hope that we uh, pick up the pace a little bit. What do we got? I don't even know which one I want to get. Which which GX? Oh, yes! Oh, yes! I feel like this one's probably not going to be worth that much, but I'm happy with this one because I really like the look of this artwork. Yes! The copycat. The full art trainers in this set all look really good, actually. This is a nice one though. Look at that. So very similar, you know, to the the regular one, like what she's wearing. She's got the Team Rocket and the, is that Blaine, I guess? And a Pikachu, that's so nice looking. Ooh, I like it, I'm happy with that. I have to wait and see what the values are like on all the cards in the set, but that is a very nice looking one. I'm happy with that. All right, so what other GXs can we get though? We've only seen two, we gotta get another one. This uh, full art, the Apricorn Maker one, super awesome as well, really awesome. The TV Reporter one, really good too. But um, some of these cards are not really like the best effects, so I do wonder if any of the cards in this set will actually be worth anything, except for the Rainbow Energy. I'm sure that will be expensive, just because it looks awesome. Oh, and speaking of which, there it is, but we didn't pull it, unfortunately. But I'm happy with my copycat. Hey, oh, it's the last card. All right, we've only got four packs left, and we only have two GXs so far. It's not super good pull rate. I hope we get at least one more. Would like to get two, but I might be getting greedy, just because there's six in this set, and I don't have, uh, I only have two so far. Oh, geez. Alright, what are we at? Let's go. We got the hoe again, looking cool. Ooh, alright, nice. We got the size or GX. This pose is like the same as on the, the card that they kind of got the inspiration from as well, I'm pretty sure. What did this say? 80. And then the, your opponent's Pokemon does 30 less for your first attack, which is 80 for two energy on their next turn. I think that's what it says. And then it's got a GX attack does 100 plus 100 if they're an evolution Pokemon. And then it says if you have less than the ability, if this Pokemon has less than 100 HP, its attacks do 80 more. So that's kind of cool. Interesting. We got the, uh, the size all there. That's probably better one to get. I don't know. The Articuno and stuff looks pretty cool though. Don't know if we're going to get another one though. I think we've done our done our dash on the GX's just because we're so close to the end of the box. Which kind of sucks because you don't get a prism in this set, which is a little bit sad. But um, last pack, let's see. Could be another GX. Could it be? Life Herb. Oh wait. Yeah, the, no, it's not. It's a blazed, a blaziken. I was gonna say blazed chicken. That's basically what it is. All right, so hit rate's not amazing just because we don't have the um, the prism that kind of takes one away, and it is possible to get another GX, but we didn't unfortunately. But I'm happy with what we got. I like these GXs that we got, and I really like my secret rare that I got a lot. So anyway, let's do a quick recap. All right, so we got all our hollows. We got a lot, as always. Uh, assuming, I'm assuming we got uh, all of them because I saw at least one double. And usually, because of the amount of them, you will get all of them in a box. Yeah, we got two Tyranitars, which is a cool one to get two of. All right, we got the Sizor GX, very nice. 
We got the Bennett GX also quite awesome. Mr. Mime, I kind of like that. That is pretty cool, even though it looks weird. And the best card we got, the Copycat Full Art, which I really do like the look of this. It is super, super awesome. Very nice artwork. So very happy indeed. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I uh, don't know how much of this set I'm going to buy. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm a bit low on funds at the moment just because of Golden Week and what whatnot, buying a lot of mystery packs. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, if you want to see more, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.